What's up, everybody? I'm back. Um, back with another pickups for the week from various stores, Mo mainly the flea market. I just got back a little while ago. I did a video with my niece. She helped me. She wanted to do a video. She saw some stuff. Um, so we did a, a unboxing of the blind packs of the Disney Pixar, the Funko, Coco ones. So go check that out down there. Make sure to give her a, a thumbs up on her channel. She put it in the description towards the end. Um, but let's get into it, man. Um, a lot of cool stuff uh, during the week. I got my boy, my co-host right here, Pennywise, just chilling. Uh, he's a little lamp. He's a little mood lamp. Super dope. But yeah. So he'll be chilling, co-hosting, <clears throat> along with my boys right here. Anyways, so let's get into it. Um, went to the flea market today. Let's start off with that before I jump off to other stuff. Um, went to the flea market today, right? I went a little bit late, like 8.30. That was kind of late for me. So... Uh, when I was walking, I already see some guy, right? When I was walking, I do my my usual up and down, up and down, and up and down, and then backwards if I have anything on hold with people. So this guy was, I just, when I was walking towards the front, he already had like a bag full of like, I could tell were uh, Super Nintendo games. Super Nintendo games and stuff, I'm all great. And he's just looking at the bag, like double checking, like, ooh, like, like if he scored. I'm all great, he just wiped somebody out. You know, I knew I should've got here at eight. So I already had like a down feeling like I'm not going to get nothing, which is cool. It's hit or miss. Like you never know. But I just I had that negative vibe like, ah, this is bothering me. Like this guy like got some stuff right in front of me. So he probably collects probably all the same stuff that I do. Anyways, I was pretty good with what I found for being a little late on my side. So let's get into what I first got. Um, so... Uh, I got this at a deal. These the this guy he had video games he had to lay down so I guess that guy just bought a few video games I don't know how many video games the the vendor said some lady came and bought some last week but I didn't go last week so hmm I've never seen him there before but anyways I got this he hooked me up he ended up hooking me up a bundle deal. So it's rest, pretty much WrestleMania on the Super Nintendo. I didn't have that. Um, and a Daffy Duck. Um, I ended up this, he ended up giving, getting me this one, which was pretty cool. I've been wanting this one. And he gave it to me a pretty cheap price. Um, so I said, would you do a bundle deal if I take these two, that one, this, and you had the Super Mario, right? And you could always use Mario, extra Mario toys for the, for the kids, the kids, uh, man cave over there, but, uh, that one. And then he just had this one random. Oh yeah. Macho. Um, he gave me all for a pretty good bundle. Um, like I said, um, he said, I, I go, you're going to come back next week. Cause you know, I really didn't take that much money. I only took about 45 bucks with me in cash. So all this I got for like 45 bucks and under, um, it is, it is pretty awesome. Um, so yeah, and like those figures, you could, some people get rid of them for like the Mario toy, like five bucks to, some people want more, but you know, he gave it to me super cheap with all the games. Um, super cheap. All right. So the next thing I got was, um, oh, I went to another guy who just had, I was looking at his DVDs or his CDs or his games. I think I saw a game first, like a 360 gamer. 
something, but I didn't. I was like, eh, whatever. So then, but then he had this. Na na na, gonna have a good time. Hey, hey. The ultimate collection of Fat Albert's greatest hits. Still sealed. Check that out. And I was like, hey, how much how much are your DVDs or whatever? He's like, two bucks. I'm on two bucks for this one? He's like, yeah. I'm all right, cool. Then I seen this one towards the bottom. So I got this. You know, right now I'm into my little wrestling f fad. Um, but yeah, for two bucks, it's complete. The discs look amazing. I know a lot of people are getting rid of their uh, DVDs and everything, but that's fine because, I mean, to think when this came out, it was like probably like 40 bucks or I'm not even sure how much, 50. So to get it for um, two bucks, they may be obsolete to some people, but not to me. And then on the corner of my eye, he had this. Oh, yeah. WWF Attitude. On the Nintendo 64. Two bucks. It was like a two buck deal thing with him. He had a G.I. Joe The Rise of Cobra on, on DVD. Which was a dollar. But it was like a real slim case. Looked more like a, a promotional type thing. But um. I just passed on it. So. <clears throat> let's get into. Another lady had these. Guys. She had a bunch of other guys, but they were like, uh, she, she said three bucks each. But then she thought, but if you take them all, I'll give you a big deal. There was like about 20 guys. I was like, some of them I didn't recognize. I, and there was a big show and there was these just different ones. You know, of course, your John Cena's and everything. But I was like, eh, how much you want? Just I go, how much they're each? So three dollars each. Well, three, she goes, if you take them all, I'll give you a big deal. I go, you know what, I just want like two or three. So she gave it to me for five bucks. So we got Ray Ray. Which I'm, it's going for the, for the wrestling cave. Another Eddie. You know I'm all about the LWO and this hope. I like the boots. Looks like a Slim Jim promo. Um. Yeah, but he has the still. It's a still Hulkamania or still. Hulk rules or something like that. Those were cool. So that was five bucks. Then, okay, check this out, guys. I went to this other guy that I, he always gives me good deals, and you'll have figures like on the floor, and he'll be like four dollars, three dollars, and then I'll just put like a bunch together. I go, would you do all this for ten? Somebody's like, yeah, yeah. He's one of those dudes that's just like, if you bundle stuff. He'll give to you. So he had. So he had these figures. He had a bunch of with another ones. So. And he had these. So this is like just a Voltron. It's like a it's like a rubbery type thing, but I I think it looks cool to display. It's pretty awesome. And he wanted two bucks or three bucks a piece. I think he said two bucks, two bucks each, two bucks each, whatever. And this one, I think, is from the X Files, which is looks super cool. And then, so I try to grab um, pretty much just you know bundles from him and try to give him business. That way, he always gives me business, you know. And then he had these two guys. So he had these two guys, right? And you're like, what are those? And you're like, um, oh, Jurassic Park, right? But not the Kenner. I think these are the Hasbro's. Later on, I'm not, I'm not, hundred percent sure, but it, it says Hasbro on the side of the leg, so and they look like Jurassic Park. Never was into the line. 
the Kenner or the new ones right now or the 93 or the Hasbro ones but then I spot this on the floor check it out look at that guys the box is in decent not great shape decent you know it has that little tear um and of course this little like warping so this is from 93 the jurassic park the canner releases and the cycle everything is in super dope shape it doesn't have the skinner i'm not sure on, on the package it shows the figure skinner um that i had to look up because i was like does it come in the package he's like, i don't the guy said i don't think it comes to the figure so that's why i looked it up to see um what the name was you know so it's an evil raider strike cycle so and then people are selling it by itself and with this so it's like a motorcycle it's all there it's all complete there's no broken parts it has the cannon um, lift here and oh wow something fell <laughs> Oh my sweater fell and then it shoots out it has the with the string So that's super cool um, Once again, I'm not in Jurassic Park But when you find something cool I'll take it Let's see what else fellas what else uh, what, what, Oh, yeah, so that was those Everything I got pretty cheap. Like I said, I was under 45 bucks. I'll tell you, I got that, the Evil Strike, um, the Jurassic vehicle just for five bucks, like I said. And then the figures were dropped way lower. Anyways, let's see, is that it for the swap meet? Oh no! A lady had a bunch of plushies and just a bunch of like, uh, just different toys. She had a Teddy Rex band, this and there. I was like, oh, and I saw this hanging. You know, it's a super big Louis, uh, Yoshi, which is my favorite. It's the backpack. I'm like, oh, it's a backpack. So, you know, you just, just ask how much is the, how much is that? She's like, five bucks. I'm like, five bucks. And lo and behold, I didn't really notice. She had <laughs> some other things that were under like a blanket. And guess what? It's your boy, Hulk Hogan. Yo, dudes, I'm Hollywood Hogan. Uh-oh. I'll be back, Jack. Check that out, dude. Are you ready to bash and ball, brother? All he needed was batteries, man. So she wanted 10 for him. I'm like, 10? Uh, so I got him. I don't know what, she was just super cool with me. Is that all you got? Oh no. I said, how much for this and how much for that? And she had these two rocks. Two of them. And, can't forget about your boy, Ray Ray. So I said, man, how much? She left you take them all. I'll give me. Oh, oh wow. Hogan oh, keeps talking. Anyway, she ended up giving them to me all for under 20 bucks. Which was pretty cool. Which was pretty super cool. Um I just told her, wow, thank you. You know, if you're here next week, I'll pick up those Teddy Ruck spins and she said yeah for sure if they're still here you know she was letting stuff go for cheap so she was getting rid of it and um yeah I'll find I'll find someone who wants those ASAP then this other guy was just selling stuff cassettes tapes whatever and I was like I just seen jerseys hanging out the back of his car and I was like uh yo how much is this and he's like two bucks two bucks so I started looking for holes or something no it's a Kings I'm not a Kings fan 
but I love it just took me back to when I was first introduced to hockey when the Kings um, would wear purple and gold you know what I mean so it's pretty cool it's legit it's um, it's a 2XL um, it's pretty big I'm a pretty big guy, and hockey jerseys as it is already come in big sizes, so I don't know if I'm going to keep that or see if somebody wants that. Um, let's hurry up and get into it. It's already at 15 minutes. Here's another mail drop that I got. I haven't even opened it. I was saving for the video. Here we go. Hopefully I have enough camera uh, storage space. Oh, yeah. This was on eBay. 10 bucks nothing on the back but are you kidding me 10 bucks um, I'll take it. it says macho man on the tag like I said I'm getting uh, a little too deep back into wrestling but let's see Oh, I got another box that I was saving. Damn it, where's the... Let me see if I can just pry it open old school style. So as you know, uh, I think it was in the last one I did the, uh, the Triple H new crate. Dang. Where's those scissors? Here they are. My bad, guys. It should have been ready. But uh, that would be easier to cut. There you go. So I got the um, yeah the Braun Strowman, super cheap. If the guy didn't like them, you know like the way they looked, or whatever. I was like, I kind of like them. So I got this on eBay for super really, really cheap. Like the shipping, like it's weird because the shipping on here it was. I think he only charged me, or he only charged two ninety nine shipping, and like the, the figure was only like two ninety nine, so it was like six bucks. But on the package it says nine sixty. They charged him. Sorry, guy. But you know you gotta watch out. You gotta weigh some stuff before you uh, ship it out. Kind of get an idea. But thanks. So that's the Strowman. Um. Also, during the week. I was at your your neighborhood hot topic, which I frequent once in a while. But I seen these about two weeks ago online, and I was like, oh, I'm trying not to get into pops. Like I only get like uh, obviously the Warriors, um, my it, my Pennywise um, pops, and then my wrestling pops, and I have a few like Super Bad and hockey. But that's it. I'm like, that's it. I'm not going to collect. And then these come out. You're kidding me? Billy Madison. Like one of my favorite movies. Are you kidding? Bobby Boucher. Are you kidding me? Happy Gilmore. And they were like, if you buy three, you get them for like cheaper than 10 bucks each. Uh, they think their deal's like three for 27. Something like that. Plus I had like some discount already or something. So it was about almost under 27. It was about 27 bucks. I don't know. I left the receipt in there. Sorry. Um, what else? Oh, I got this cool shirt for my kid. Where are we at? In 20 minutes? I like it. Hope he likes it. I think it's pretty sweet. Two dollars. He likes those button-up type shirts and it's with a lot of print on it. And he has another one that has some leaves and stuff. And then last but not least, before I get out of here, I think that was it for everything. Got this for my girl. A homie, she's always thinking of me, so uh, this for you. 
you know who you are. I saw it, snatched it up for you. So, shots to you. And I think that's about it, guys. Uh, oh, this guy turned off, huh? Let me see. Turn back on. Anyway. Yeah, that's about it. Um, once again, I hope you enjoyed the video. Hit subscribe, like. Um, if there's anything that you saw here that you like or you're looking for or I didn't say it right or something like that. Like once again, I'm just picking up stuff that I like, that I'm going to keep. Some stuff I'll resell, some stuff I'll trade. And stuff... I'm gonna need for inventory um, for the future. So once again, I'll see you later. Ray Ray says uh, peace. And then this one's super cool. Come on. I've been wanting a NWO Hogan for a while now. No, dudes, I'm Hollywood Hogan. It's, it's kind of like the wrestling buddies but the WCW came out with their own I forgot what they're called bashing something but you know when you get them in the oh, geez, choke them out I'm just kidding alright for life for life alright guys have a good one peace see you on the next video everyone stay up tell your fam you love them Everything, everything, man. Just be positive. Good, put good karma out there, and karma will come back to you. And just enjoy and be good. And stay tuned for the next one. Aight. Peace.